in there for the Tigers, who are one and two after playing their three games at Minute Maid Park in Houston. Ken has gone full to Burrell, leading off the game. And that one's above the belt and high. Ball four, and the Tigers have a base runner. They're not afraid to run. That one hooked in the air, down the line and left, and that ball is gone. Trevor Hatton hits a two-run homer, and the Tigers strike first. Really nice swing right there by Trevor Hatton. Looked like he was out on the front foot just a little bit, but he caught the barrel right in the middle. My goodness. And there's some life in the Tiger dugout, and rightfully so. That's a big shot for that ball club. You can really hear them getting excited. Watch him just See, go out and hook this thing. Big hanging breaking ball, but really good job by Patton to keep those hands back. Over the three games in Arlington facing this slow throwing lefty and that ball stroke to left field. In comes Hatton, makes the diving catch. He lost the sunglasses. He's easily going to flip to second base to double off Stovall. Hogs had runners at first and second, Troy, and they do not score. Makes him really tough. That one stroked out to right and that's going to be a base hit. Tell you what, the Tigers have come ready to play today. And they really have. It's, I think that's a. Here's Cam Buford. Throw to first instead. We really even had to talk too much about the pitch clock so far, and they're going to call that a balk. We were due for a balk at some point. Buford holds those hands above his helmet, and then drops him down into the zone. Strokes one to left field. Over goes Wagner. He'll take it on a bounce. Walker around third. Here comes the throw home. It's not in time, and Grambling has a 3 nothing lead. And that ball cashed in immediately for a run. Baseball or an SEC, you're, you're traveling with Hey, there's a base hit by Julian Murphy. Stovall was going over to cover. Buford will go to third. That ball played back in. Grambling keeps right on hitting. Three singles and a run home this inning. A buck factored in. That one sprayed to right. Borfin over. He'll make the catch, and that will end the inning. But really high baseball IQ, and that's, that's Josenberger. He'll take ball four. Stovall smashes one up the middle. That may have deflected off the base and goes in the center. And there's the speed from Josenberger. He'll cruise to third without a throw. Absolutely. I mean, you got to shoot a ball to get it out. Lifted in the air to shallow center. In comes Burrell. I think Josenberger is going to tag it. He will. Here comes the throw home. It's not in time. The Hogs have a run and a sack fly from Wegner. That is his ninth RBI in four games. Defensive shifts in faster. Slavens will wave and miss, and the inning ends even with that automatic ball. The Here's a 2-2. That's blistered into center for a base hit, and Grambling has a 4-1 lead. Kyle Walker again, the La Tech transfer. His coach said he was not going to be scared, and he has two base hits. The first, off and rolling goes Walker, a wave and a miss. Throw from Roland's knees, not near in time. And I mean, Hatton's betting for the third time, and he's got himself a base hit and another RBI. Grambling has scored two this inning, and that's a 5-1 lead. Hatton's knocked in a hat trick worth of runs. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to spring training, but it's good to get out here and watch some college baseball. You're seeing some all right. Hatton's going to go to third base on a stole the base at a throwing air. So uh, here's the one-two pitch. That one is drilled to left, back towards the warning track. It's going to take a bounce. Wagner will play it back in. Grambling has scored another run. It is a 6-1 advantage. A bit of a mistake. I'm a little surprised. Mack will wave and miss. The throw to second base is in time to get Buford. We're going to keep Jeff around for a little while because uh, the athleticism to this part of the country, and it is a lot of fun to watch. Kendall Diggs with the chopper almost in no man's land. Fielded by Walker, and it's in time. Diggs can't believe it. Either can DBH. He said, forget it. He wants, <laughs> he wants the uh, replay already. I mean, literally, Dave Van Horn says that the, the facility out in right field, the, the Hunt Family uh, Player Development Center, he goes, it's a power five football building. Yeah, and a lot of these facilities like you're talking about made the right call. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Houston Astros the last six, seven years has really benefited uh, some of the uh, jewelry cabinet with what they've been able to go out there and do. 
delivery is so simplified, yet the ball absolutely explodes out of his hand, and here we go. That's a base All hit by Borfin. To do is get me up here. That's right, Kendall Diggs go. will score. Borfin racing to second base in with a dive, and the Hawks have cut into the deficit at 6-2. to two. The swing is starting to rank up there. There's a chopper towards short. Vargas will throw across to first base to retire Roland, but Borfin will score, and the Hogs have their second run of the inning. It's a 6-3 game. Here's the pitch to Keelan Mack. He socks one to right field. This is hit well. Borfin turning and running, looking up. It's off the base of the fence, and Mack will settle for a long single, leading off the fifth. And, and Jeff, before we went to break, we were talking about the... Uh, Where they measure the 90 feet uh -huh. for the base pass. Okay. We were talking about that today. Yeah, That's so ball four. When you guys are on air, you're doing the same thing I am. You're thinking about, how do I get people to enjoy this? It's a base hit to left field. Mack will hold there. And my goodness, Grambling just keeps on coming after the Racerbacks. The bases are loaded. It's pretty amazing. How Pitcher McIntyre, stroke to left. That's a base hit. Another run for Grambling. They'll go station to station. Kick the extra point. It's 7-3, Tigers. Again, another just really controlled swing. <laughs> so why not come out and hang out? For yeah, a you're bit? a hog. Cody Frank gives up a roller up the middle. There's a step on second nice. base and a throw to first. And Slavitz kept his foot on the bag. Well, that was the way you order it, right? One pitch, double hey. play. Been out here 11 to 4. And that pitch is outside, but the Hogs have base runners. That double play, though, was huge. And the 2-2 two -two to Stovall. That ball's blistered to center field for a base hit. Josenberger, again, doesn't hesitate. On his way to third base, the throw's cut off, and the Razorbacks have runners on the corners, and nobody out. Base runners, they, they can get from first to third in a hurry. Hey, Wegner is going to get a chopping base hit at an RBI. Josenberger will score. Stovall to third. That is the 10th RBI in four games, and the legend of Jared Wegner continues to grow in this First week plus. Probably didn't think we'd be saying at some point today. Slavin socks one down the right field line. Frederick over into a dive, but the ball kicked out of his glove. Wegner would have been doubled off. Instead, he'll make it to third. Slavin's has a double. It's one of the few plays Grambling State has not made today. And the pitch to Diggs, big rip and a miss. He did not get cheated, but came up empty. Base hit, though, could tie up this game, and Borfin watched that the entire way and takes ball forward. We get a long look at that pitch. There's a chopper up the middle. Could be two. What a huge double play, and Troy. Each team turns a big double play in this fifth inning. But other than that. Well, Roland will just fight one off, a high pitch, and poke it in the right for a base hit. That's his first hit as a Razorback in six at bats, despite the fact he's got Three runs batted in. Two strike pitch. Hit towards the gap in right center field. That's down, it's gonna score a run. Josenberger trying for two, gliding into second base. It's a one run game. Josenberger's been on base all four times this afternoon. He's still putting that oven mitt on his stove ball. Hits a soft line drive. That's caught by Walker. And the Hogs have had some difficulty on the bases. Point, a base runner would help. A payoff pitch, that's ball four, and that's a freebie. It's not what Burchell wanted to do to begin the bottom of the seventh inning. Wegner will go, and the 3-2 will miss. And the Hogs again have base runners. Two, he singled in a run, scored a run. He's still looking for his first RBI. Oh, he got a balk. We just have another balk. Well, things travel in threes, Troy. That is our third combined balk we've had in this game. Forfeit. Blisters one to center. Here comes Burrell. He will make the catch. Wegner will tag and score for the first time today. This game is tied. We're even at seven on the line drive. Sack fly from Borfin. Another pitch is grounded up the middle. Nice defensive positioning by Vargas to take a hit away from the pinch hitter McLaughlin. The inning ends. So the Hawks keep chipping away. Set the tone of this inning. Just missing up and out. Ball four. Bolton almost clipped, and he was. He was hit by the pitch on the shoulder. Doesn't have to hurt to count. I think it ended up in the glove of Murphy, the catcher. Single, a double, two walks. He's been on base all four times. He shows bunt, and that ball gets away from Murphy. Another free 90 feet. Holt to third. Bolton to second. Big pitch. Hit high in the air, deep right center field. Burrell turning and running. Back on the track. He will make the catch. The Hogs have their first lead of the game and a sack fly from Josenberger. Five productive plate appearances. And it's 8-7 Arkansas. 
Stovall slicing one towards Burrell on the move into wow. a dive. What a grab. Another run will score. Great play by Burrell. Coming across is Bolton on another sack fly. It's 9 7 Arkansas. What a play, though. Well, that's trouble. Down the line and left. Wegner will take it on a bounce. And Buford will hold. So the tying run will come to the plate. Knock that ball down, the one hitting right down the line. Wave and a miss. Mack watched that break into him, and he couldn't resist. Tigers next pitch. Hit in the air to right center, Josenberger. They're waiting. That's the second out. Now Buford will tag and go to third. See what he comes back with, one, two. Breaking ball, wave and a miss. Ball game over. The Hogs survive. 